Hello and welcome to Team Fight Manager. I am Dead Man. Thank you for joining me on a new series we're going into. Yes, I am excited for this. Let's jump right into it. So, for those who don't know what Team Fight Manager is, here's the story. In 20XX, Team Fight Arena became a worldwide sensation, gaining huge popularity following its release. The game was also a sensation in pro sports. At an age of 18, I debuted as a pro gamer of this game. During my 10-year career as a pro gamer, I haven't lost the world champion championship title once. After retiring from pro gaming, I coached professional teams for another 10 years. Still, I've never lost the world championship title. It's amazing to see the numerous trophies I'd earned throughout my pro gaming and coaching careers. But am I really a genius? What if it was all just luck, good colleagues, or just a favorable, uh, a favorable environment? I wanted a new challenge. I'll train the lowest ranked amateur team and help them win the world championship. Then I'll feel satisfied. And the team I'll be in charge of is... Our team name. Um, okay, our team name is going to be the loser... The loser squad. Be the loser squad. And my my team coach name will be um, Coach Coco. It'll be Coach Coco, and I will have brown hair or Phoenix Wright hair. We'll go with Phoenix Wright hair. Let's take a look at our team logos. What can we take? M E G G. A skull butterfly. Wow. Evil Butterfree. Pizza cap. That looks like the uh, TikTok logo. A hundred P's. Seven ten. That's clearly Warner Brothers. Team Solo Mid. Um, there's the Steam icon. There's something or else. Three K Sports. Pock Star. We have Dig. B, uh, BWM, of course, but here's going to be our team logo. The loser squad is nothing but a nuclear disaster. Coach Coco appointed as the coach of the loser squad team. Coach Coco, who holds the record for most wins, sent shockwaves to the world by being appointed to the amateur league, the loser squad's team coach. Coach Coco made a promise to lead the team to victory in the world championship. We look forward to see how this, how he does. You can enhance the player stats through training. There are training points that can be allocated to each player, and you can train the players by investing the points on stats you want to improve. The more training points you allocate to certain stats, the faster the corresponding stats improve. Training takes place automatically over time based on the points you've allocated. Starting from this week, you can freely recruit players until week two of February. Let's see if we can turn the volume down a little bit more. All right, so let's see here. Let's see if we can uh, recruit some new team members. Cost is going to be 10 duck gold, and it's going to take two weeks. Local talent scout dispatch. We don't have that. We don't have those type of facilities, so we got to go and check out what we got with local talent. So we'll close that down. Let's take a look at training. We got mash is pretty ordinary strong offensive player a little weak defensively so we're going to increase their strength value maybe make their swordman a little stronger and put a point into their archer as well so they're fairly balanced flurry let's see what flurry has flurry's pretty well rounded as a priestess and a monk i'm gonna load up our priestess maybe and put in some extra defense oh Wrong button. Wrong button. We got Jörg Björgensen. Clearly the Euro guy on the team. He is a heavily defensive character. I'm going to go Knight and extra defense. Actually, let's go Knight 2. And finally, we have Lust Boy. The Popper of Lust. 6-6, six and six, so their defense is pretty standard. Pyromancer and Shrine Maiden. So let's load up the Pyromancer and put a point into attack. 
So that's our first week here. Let's see what we can do. Proceed. Let's go into a practice match. Recruiting is the easiest way to convince uh, to increase a team's capabilities. Recruiting allows you to search for players that can immediately contribute to the team, rising stars with a bright future, etc. It's difficult to get good results without recruiting players appropriately. If you haven't tried recruiting yet, try it out to strengthen your team. Well, we did, actually. Request practice matches. The best way to understand a team's capability after being newly appointed as the coach is to play a match. Choose an appropriate team before the season starts and request a practice match. It will be the first step you'll need to have a successful season. So we got dry, we got L1, and we got team statics. Let's go, I mean, they're all the same, so let's say maybe we can request team L1. All right, so let's see. Lust Boys in the shower. Their squad seems to be working pretty decently. Squad 2, we don't even have a squad 2. Renewal fee is 96 gold, so we got to start winning some money. Or right, getting some matches. All right, everyone pile into the truck. Let's go. No seat belts. We're going off. Ah, oh, this is a pretty nice stage, i got to admit. Please win, L1. Who's the commentator? They suck. You suck, little man in the crowd. The match consists of several sets. Teams will switch between red and blue sides to play each set. Each set consists of four steps. Selecting players, ban and pick of champions, champion swapping, and finally the match itself. It's the time to select your players. In this step, you can choose the players on your team who will participate in the corresponding sets. All right, so we got Mash, who's pretty solid with um, uh, their stats. So they're pretty attack heavy. Flurry can be a solid backup to that, but we can balance it out if we take Bjergsen. This player is mediocre and doesn't have any traits. Let's put Bjergsen in and we'll take Flurry out for the time being. We're taking on uh, GBM and Kuvi. And... You know, we'll see what they got. Their characters seem to be a little weak. At least that's what I think those numbers mean. So let's see what we got. Mash and Jurgensen. Gotta get EU in the team. After choosing the players, proceed to the ban and pick of champions. In this step, there is a banning and picking stage. The banning stage allows you to select the champion you want to ban for the corresponding set. The picking stage allows you to select the champions you want to use in the corresponding set, apart from the champions that have been banned. Alright, so they get first choice. Who are they banning? They're banning the fighter. Okay, so now it's our turn to ban someone. Actually, that's not good because it takes... If we take out the uh, ninja, then this guy's not going to have any of his good players. So let's, let's ban the ninja in that case. They're picking their champions. Oh no, we wanted Swordsman. Can we take Swordsman? We can't. Oh no. Have to go into our backup. Archer. Oh, they took the knight and they banned it. Oh wow, they they got us good. Um, Alright, so you're more of... Uh... So it looks like whenever you select that extra hero, you get a bonus to that. So... Uh, let's see. Cast a shield on an ally that increases attack speed. Covers an ally's HP. Creates a summon door that randomly heals or attacks allies. Let's, let's go to Shrine Maiden then. Next is Champion Swapping. Each player has a different level of Champion Mastery, so arrange champions in a way that will allow each player to bring up the champion's full potential. I mean, I can't really do that now. They took the two that I was going to use. I was going to use the warrior and the knight, and they ended up... Or the swordsman. So... I think they did it because they took that character, so... That was unfortunate. So, now the match will proceed. The match will be played out for one minute, and the champions that have been picked, the team that gets the most kills, wins. So now we play Farmville. Heal mash. That's not good. We are getting plucked here. 
Oh, I, I, I think I was able to, I didn't choose when we use ult, so... Oh! The Genji Blade just came out. And QV. Oh man, this is not looking good for us. I think they got us good here. Two, one, zero. First match goes to Team L1. Hmm. Yeah, now you can now use the equipment. You can acquire them by crafting or by meeting certain conditions. And once you uh, equip them, the equipment effect will be applied. You've acquired the hoodie equipment. So we lost our uh, we lost our practice round. That's not good. All right, so let's put on our team hoodie where we get plus one attack. Uh, okay, so Balls is 19 year old. Plays uh, looks like some pretty beefy characters. Has a bunch of attack. We gotta pay 126 gold for them though. Yikes. We gotta start winning though. That kid's gonna take us far. Let's go Balls. Let's put skill in the monk, and let's put some skill into attack. Proceed with the schedule. Yes, recruitment period. You can now use the combination test function. If you've used this function, you can simulate the relationship between certain combinations without having to play an actual match. Uh, combination test. Let's see. New test. Uh, let's go. Team blue picks the champion. So let's go. Fighter and monk let's say knight and archer start the test so we send it out and this is a oh it just edged at the end all right well let's see how the squad is doing Jurgensen and Flurry are uh, stepping it up. Can I? How do I switch squads? Because I'd rather move this guy up to squad one. All right. Well, let's proceed to the next week then. All right. So in a few weeks, uh, we are going to contest. All right, the longer list of candidates for the sponsorship contract. Please decide which sponsor you want. We got Waken. Which will give us a whole bunch of stuff. Supporting funds. And materials as well. Wotorola. We got Iron Series. Which I think is actually supposed to be a playoff steel series. Uh, we got Pepsi. We got Kony. We got WeTube. Instakilogram. Uh, Kukul. Saumi. So, I mean, let's see which one should we take. Insta Kilo, achieve at least a win streak of at least six. So these are like extra, like, I guess, contracts that we can try to go for. Achieve at least 330 kills in the regular season. Um, and those are the rewards we get for it. Achieve using Knight, Monk, Ninja for at least total of 12x. I don't know what that 12x means. Achieve 368 deaths in and below in the regulation. Okay, let's go. Let's do this one. That one seems pretty reasonable. You signed a contract with our sponsor. All right. Next week. I hope my team is getting better. The player recruitment period ends this week. You cannot recruit new players until the next recruitment period starts. All right. Let's go into this. We're playing Team Statics now this time. You need to submit a list of rosters who will participate in the first half of the league. I kind of want to put balls in. I think take Flurry out. Put Bjergensen balls in there. And uh, we'll get Flurry and Lustboy working in the, in the... Well, actually, Flurry's got defensive capabilities, I think. Unless the monk can be offensive. 
Ah, uh, we'll see what we do. Round one versus Team Statics. All right, everyone into the truck. Balls, I know you smell bad. You two, go to sleep. Get better. All right, here we go. Number seven, Team Statics versus number one, Loser Squad. All right, let's see. So we got balls. Let's bring balls in right away. Receives 10 defense penetration effect. Prioritizes, prioritizes attacking enemies with low HP. So I'm going to go Bjergensen and Balls first. So we're the main team. So let's go. Let's ban the Priestess. Because that takes out two of their members. As long as they don't ban the Monk. Alright, so let's take the fighter. Don't take my monk. Okay, they took the swordsman. Let's take our monk. Oh, this is going to be bad for them. Uh, strategy. So, ultimate timing. Uh, let's use our ults early. See if we can get a big rush on the uh, start. Alright, here comes our first official league match. Balls is just tearing me so apart. Jurgensen really low on health though. But Balls and Jurgensen go down. Balls and Jurgensen back into the fight as Jurgensen uses their alt, launching both enemies in the air and both die at the same time. Balls and Jurgensen. Oh! Oh, Lang X with the huge it was huge. Keeps his team in the game as Balls is going after Lang X. Lang, on the wrong side of town, ends up taking out Balls. Unbelievable. 6-6. Six, six. As Team Statics is taking the lead. Now we're down. Tied 7-7. Seven, 8-7. Seven, seven. The loser squad moving ahead at the last second. Are they able to hold out? And the game goes to a draw. Overtime. And the loser squad wins the first set. Incredible. Now it's time for a team meeting. My performance with Monk was top notch, wasn't it? Um, that was pretty solid. All right, so he's happy. So let's get uh, let's get Mash in there now, cause they uh, let's switch it up. We'll keep balls in and have mash going in. So, Jurgensen, warm up. Keep yourself practicing. Have a Red Bull. All right, so who are we banning this time? We can ban the Swordsman. Oh, no, they choose. That's right. So they ban the Knight, which is fine. Uh, we should ban, again, the Priestess, because it looks like they're keeping the same crew out there. Actually, I'm going to ban the Shrine Maiden. So they're going to probably take the Priestess. Oh, the Swordsman. Interesting. Actually, that was our top choice, too. So we'll go with the Archer, and hopefully we'll grab the Monk this time. We could go with the... Uh, we could go with the Fighter, but the Monk looks like it's more of a healing Monk. I think that'll work better with the range. Because maybe we can uh, handle out the... Uh... I wish there were more uh, ultimates. More things that we can do with that. Maybe we'll unlock it later. So here we go. Balls and Mash. Mash working in from the range. While Balls getting up close with those heals and the hits. But Miso coming through with the respawn. Balls working hard. But looks like the alts are coming out. And putting the loser squad up 2-4 on this. But remember, watch out for that ninja attack. Oh, there it is. The fighter coming through. Lang X coming down the line. He's in the corner. While Miso splitting. Pulling a Naruto. Where's those logs coming from? I don't know. And loser squad up 6-7 as Balls is getting in kind of close and might actually put himself in a bit of a rough position seeing as Mash is now all alone up against two melee. 
Ball's working hard, though, to keep it uh, going. As we go, it looks like they're going to be close to a tie right now. MASH has really got to be careful with this because they are behind. And Team Static's taking the second set. This is completely questionable now. Was the choice of bringing MASH in well enough? I don't know. MASH says, we lost because of me. I'm sorry. The problem was ban and pick. Being sorry doesn't change a thing. Let's forget about this match and concentrate on the next one. Mash is happy. So let's get Bjergensen back in there. We got to keep Balls out there. The problem is Balls seems to also be a healing monk. So, I mean, worst case scenario is we could get Balls on to his second choice. Because Miso and Langix are back out again. So let's, let's switch back. Hope Bjergensen has been warming up. So the Amateur League Round 1 is about to go underway once again. Ban into the Priestess. Maybe we should actually keep the Priestess out this time and maybe ban the uh, the Swordsman. And they ban the Pyromancer. Interesting choice. Uh, we'll take the Knight. We want the Fighter. We want the Fighter. Taking the Ninja again. And going with the Archer this time. Again, I really wish there were more strategies that I can get right now, but uh, we'll have to wait. So I wonder if maybe it's because we're using our uh, alts a little too early on this one. Ball's coming in, uh, putting the fight out on the uh, archer there. And this one is looking to be a little bit of a runaway now. Maybe this was maybe this was the decision getting balls onto the fighter. Although Team Statics bringing it back, keeping it close right now. Although the loser squad going up 5-8 right now. 9-5 as they are both very low. That's going to be two quick kills for Team Statics, but time is running out for them as the loser squad takes it 10-7 and wins the game. As we take a look at the rankings, the loser squad, four-way tie along with Team Me. We got Dry, we got Now Mad Gaming. And a great job for everyone. It was a big, close game today. Dry being the only 2-0 winner, along with Team Me also being the 2-0 winners. So with that, they get the extra points, and they are moving up the bracket as well. Big rewards going out for everyone involved today, so it was a great job for all teams. We will see what happens in the next week. Right now, though, we're going to wrap this part up. I'm going to see where this goes. Thank you again for watching. Again, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of the other videos we got on the channel. I did an awesome Let's Play of Yes, Your Grace. Go check that out. you also see my first impressions of Knockout City and so much more. Again, go check out the channel. Absolutely love to have you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when new videos come up. I'll catch you in the next one.